Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and I am angry. I am livid at Kevin Federline, who just sunk to the lowest of lows. I couldn't think he could go any lower, but last night he created an Instagram post where he now has since deleted because I think legally he's realizing he's in massive hot water now. Uh, he posted videos last night of Britney's kids secretly videotaping her. I just need you to process this for a second. Britney Spears, who has been recorded her whole life, couldn't see her kids without a child monitor, has been in a conservatorship for 13 years, basically a prison sentence and never been around the kids. The kids have been with Kevin Federline, 95% custody usually, and full a couple days when she's lucky. Now we learn after Jamie has been allegedly recording her in her own bedroom when the kids are there, we now learn that the, somehow the parents, Kevin and the family, have somehow gotten the kids to know, oh yeah, we'll tape mom if she's being aggressive with you at any point. And now they did. And Kevin said, I'm sick of the lies. Uh, he then used never fear truth. Oh my God. And he posted the clips on Instagram. Kim, Kim is here. Kim, thank you for being here. It's supposed to be Christopher Melcher. I just, I, I, he's going to come later. So ignore that, uh, <laughs> that, that text is wrong, but he's going to come later. What's it, funny. Welcome Kim for being here. Thank hey. you for being here. Cause this is, this is a tough one, but what's really interesting is I was going to have Christopher here. Cause I was asking him, is this even legal? Mm -hmm. Now, I know I put it in the, the secret tapes. I'm not going to play these tapes. I'm not going to play these tapes for two reasons. First, they're disgusting. Part of me wants to play them because I, I think they actually help Brittany more than Kevin realizes. And we're going to break down what was on these tapes and what happened. We're also going to share some dirty facts about Kevin Federline. But it all, the other reason is, I don't know if legally we're allowed to, Kim, mm -hmm. uh, because California is a, a, you know, a, a two-party state. You have to get permission from both people. These are minors involved. I don't understand how these tapes were allowed to be put out there. Uh, and even Christopher, I asked him, is it legal to share these videos? And even he said, I need some more time to figure it out. <laughs> so because of all those reasons, we're not going to actually play the tapes, but we will discuss what happened on them. Uh, out of respect to Brittany, I don't really want to play them, Kim. And we were talking before the show, but a part of me really wants to because I want to I want to defend her. Like, just guys, let me, let me break down before we get to Kim helping uh, clear up some of this stuff. But... The tapes last night have now been deleted off Instagram. They are on TMZ. Of course, TMZ is going to say, well, fair use. Kevin posted them. Now they're out yeah. on the internet, blah, 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 is what I imagine is going to happen. And I think now it is sadly fair game. We will see. Uh, but yeah, the, the video, the first video is Brittany being, uh, uh, what's the word I can say? Disciplining her kids. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a scene where the kids sound very bratty. They sound like they're not taking no for an answer. As a father, I can relate. And uh, I'm sure any parent watching this can relate that you wouldn't want your uh, kids secretly videotaping and releasing to TMZ your worst night as a parent. We've all been there. We've all raised our voice or lost our temper. Parenting is a hard job. It can be really, really t tough. And some parents are better than others. Uh, but everything I've heard in this audio is completely relatable. And it's also out of context. It's highly edited. There's a moment where she's like, listen to me. I'm your mom. I deserve respect. Damn right she does, Kim. Yep. And if, if the kid's talking yes. back and not listening and not giving the phone and, oh, well, dad lets me do this and dad lets me do that. Well, then hells yeah, she's allowed to raise her tone and tell them to respect her as a woman, which is what she says on this mm -hmm. video. And in this first clip, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's just crazy. I, I wish I could play some of it just so you could hear. Like, I, when I heard this, I just felt sad. Not because Kevin's proving anything of how bad of a mom she is. I feel sad that it seems Britney's own kids have been raised by Kevin Federline. I mean, you connect the dots. Yeah. They clearly don't sound like the best kids. And I'm sorry, kids. You clearly have not been told the full story. And you have now been spoiled by your mom's money. And I don't, and I, and her mom has been there for you. Your mom loves you. And now you're being fed this thing that her family and, and, and your dad are telling you because your dad is, doesn't work. Your dad and the whole family live off of your mom. So everything you're enjoying, kids, those phones, everything else, it's from your mom. It's not from anybody else. And so, yeah, your mom has been fighting forever to try and see you as they raise the teenage years. It sounds like they're pushing back. They're being a little aggressive and they're secretly videotaping her, which shows their motives. It, mm -hmm. th there must be even more terrible stuff, stuff we don't even know, Kim, because clearly they're sided with the dad, which is now out there. Brittany didn't reveal any of this for the record. This is all Kevin putting the dirty laundry out there so he can seemingly look better. 
or yeah. Jamie can. I don't even know what his motivation here is. But the first tape is a bedroom incident where she's, you know, saying, I, you know, and, and they're arguing about lotion on his face because, yeah. you know, she, he has dry skin. And she's like, if I want to do it because your face looks coarse, I'm going to do it. I'm your yeah. mom. I deserve respect. Uh, and you better give it to me as a woman. She does curse. Okay, some people are going to have a problem that she's cursing around her kids. But, oh, my God, I know a million parents, great parents with kids who curse. That's oh not the gosh. end of the world. Yes. And that's not that. That's literally the only thing here I could see of some parents will be frustrated. Oh, she's saying the F word around her kids. They're like 11 and 12. They all have heard the F word before. And some people don't care as much about profanity. I mean, let's talk about Kevin smoking the Mary Jane around the kids all together. We're going to talk about what's appropriate around kids, but we'll get there in a second. The second video is a car incident, which I don't even understand why he shared it. He, no. she, took her, she took his phone away. And he's like, well, I don't understand why he took my phone away. And she's like, and the second half of the video is like very nice where she's talking about ice skating versus roller skating and what's better. And him wearing shoes is what the whole thing is like taking a phone because he wouldn't wear shoes. There was an incident, Kim, right? Where she was caught without pop, without uh, shoes and the paparazzi caught it. And it was a whole thing in her head. I imagine there was a very good reason why she wanted her kid to have shoes on and was frustrated. Mm -hmm. And the second video or the car, this car, what do they call it? The, uh, there was a title. I don't have here. Um, car confrontation is that yeah car confrontation it's nothing nothing in this video had me gave me any concern it, to me i immediately just took it as you had a teenage or preteen boy who was refusing to put on his shoes and his mom said okay well if um you're not going to wear shoes then you're not going to have your phone correct oh it my gosh here. the horror an argument stemming from Sean Preston not wearing his shoes or exposing his feet in public. You can hear the boys clearly on the same team argue with Brittany over the fact that she took Sean's phone. Okay, good. She's the parent. She can do whatever the hell she wants there and take the phones. Those are, that's a luxury kid. And the fact that Kevin thinks because she's uh, talking like this, I mean, were Kevin's conversations fully 24 seven monitored? Because man, Kim, I'd love to hear those audios. Oh, I would love to as well. I would love to hear those audios. Did, was Kevin's parenting tracked? The same way Britney's was, this is the worst you got. It's kind of like the Johnny Depp text to me. You know, it's like they literally had access to his whole phone and they got nothing. But then Amber didn't share anything. Team mm -hmm. Con, Jamie, all the, J I mean, Jamie had to get a restraining order. Kevin even signed it because the kids were unsafe <laughs> around him. And that's, like, the I, thing. I, that's what he's defending right now. Make it make sense. I, you can't, man. Guys, I, no. I, I, this is really important that you get this out there. Justice for Britney is the new hashtag. I think we yep. need to make sure we're really amping up because this is only getting started. Yes, I believe she's free. I know a lot of people are arguing she's not. Guys, I don't know what, why we're fighting about that right now. Like, she's fighting this clearly publicly. So clearly there, there's something else here happening. And this is what all attention needs to be on. All everybody needs to come together if you're Team Brittany to alert, sound the alarms. What's happening here is disgusting. It's terrifying, and I'm just sick. I'm sick yeah. that this disgusting scum of a father thought, "Oh, well, I'm going to solve this problem because I'm getting beaten in the press by releasing audio secretly recorded of my minor children." Kevin Federline, you are a scumbag. You are a scumbag. Where's your monitor? Where's your child monitor? How do we know you have been the best parent? We're going to start. Uh, and he, I love Kim. He's like, I can't even share the worst of it. This is just the beginning. What a shitty PR move. And you know who else I'm going to call out? Who I think is absolutely responsible in this? Speculation theory, so don't sue me. Mark, uh, Mark, Dave. Sorry, now my phone comes in as I. Mark Vincent Kaplan, KFED's lawyer. How dare you let this happen? Aren't you a friggin' lawyer? You thought this was a good move for your client to post videos of his children? This is, you are scum too. Oh my God, look how short he is. I can't help it. I can't help how short, the shortest man I, that is the shortest man I've ever seen, Kim. I can't even process it. It's so rare to see a full body shot of him because he's always happens to be at some hot restaurant in, in the Beverly Hills as the paparazzi catches him. Like those are blatant PR moves, Mark. I see through your nonsense. You don't get to win this PR battle anymore. Team Khan's on the ropes. 
We have to unite. We have to be louder. They need to be exposed, all of them. And now Mark, I'm sorry, Mark, the lawyer, KFED, you're all, you're all equally as guilty, in my opinion, as Jamie. You were involved. And it's so, I, I'm sorry, Kim, I know I want to get you to see, but I got to get this off my chest. As okay. a father, I am sickened by this. I am sickened by this. You took those kids away from her. It is not right. Not only did you take that time which you could never give back, you raised two shitheads. It's clear as day. They were raised by Kevin Federline and they have no decency. This is, unless they have nothing to do with this and then the kids are like completely unaware, but I don't get that sense based on all the talk back to their mom. This is sickening. And for you, Kevin, to put the kids out in the public like this, so now we have to comment on them and call them out? You are the worst father I've ever seen. You are, you are awful. You don't put your kids in the target like this. There is no reasoning for it. Because you're getting battled in the press, you sound like Jamie. My God, no wonder you guys were so tight. And honestly, Kim, I was always trying to give Kevin the benefit of the doubt, but this is team con playbook. I've never, it couldn't be clearer. And the fact that you brought your kids into this and you're out there putting this out there in the public for us to now criticize and call out your kids for being little brats, which it sounds like they are. I'm sorry, kids. Blame your father because now you're part of the dialogue, which you never should have been. Yeah. Brittany didn't do this. Kevin did this. Your father did this. And yeah, I'm getting hot and heated because I can't stand deadbeats. Deadbeat fathers are the worst. Step up. You're equally responsible. Deadbeat moms, equally worse. Step up if you have a kid. Or find a, you know, give it to a shelter, find a family, move on. But if you were still in that kid's life, you better be there and you better make sure that they're taken care of and they're safe. Whatever you got to do. And your Brittany has taken care of these kids financially. The living their high life with your all your 10 kids, all getting whatever the hell you want off of her income. And now this is how you repay her? Because the gravy train's about to be pull up and be over? I'm I'm livid. I'm sick. I'm sorry, Kim. I needed to get that off. Go ahead. What are your reactions to this? Um, I, I just want to say I think there, there's a few things I think are important to say here. The first is that the timing of this is beautiful. I don't think that it is a coincidence that we are now talking about Kevin Federline and Britney's kids and family drama the week that a certain jamie spears is being deposed after evading deposition four months what is really important right now is the fact that britney spears was put in a conservatorship a system that is supposed to be for people who are unable to care for themselves in the sense of being able to feed themselves, dress themselves. And they forced her into this arrangement. Many of her rights as an American citizen were taken from her to get her into this arrangement. And she was then forced to work for over a decade to the benefit of everyone else involved in this conservatorship, including Kevin Federline. But now the press is going to talk about these videos. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's awfully convenient. The it's second just, thing. Yeah, go ahead. Say, and the second thing you were going to say. Um, one thing I thought was very interesting was, and this is this again, this is my opinion. This is my speculation, speculation warning. Whatever you want to put it. Earlier this week, there was supposed to be an airing of an interview that Kevin did with a UK media outlet, which I think is interesting because you'd think living in LA that there would be other media outlets if you wanted to give an interview to that you would be able to find that would be more convenient than having to have a journalist fly from a different continent, but whatever. Then they do this interview. They go back to the UK. They go, hey, we have this interview. Then there's massive, massive backlash. And they go, okay, we're not airing this in full because this is too hurtful and literally said, it seems like people aren't thinking about the boys. They're not thinking about what's best for the kids. That breaks. And then the next thing we hear is the kid's father thrusting videos that his underage sons took illegally of their mother and goes and does this. This is literally him going, I, I, I feel like this is him saying, I want to embarrass Britney. Let me get these people to do it. Oh, they won't do it. Okay, fine. Hold my beer. 
That is not parenting. This is ridiculous. This is parental alienation. This is inexcusable and disgusting. I've been a Britney fan for decades. And there have been some days when you are a fan of Britney that are just heartbreaking and just gut-wrenching. And this is one of those days. I am appalled. I am disgusted. It takes effort to be this level of human garbage. And I I honestly, I don't have any other words other than that. We cannot be distracted. What is important here is that people who organize this conservatorship are held accountable. The people who did this are walking around free. And they are going to do everything in their power to distract you from that. So fine, Kevin, do what you want. I am not distracted from the reality of what is going on here. It's disgusting. And I'm just breezing through a few. Well said, because I'm so emotional. I, I'm glad she calmly said it. The same thing, a little nicer, uh, more put together than I could. Because I, I, I get, I get emotional at this because I feel the same way. It's, it's heartbreaking for Brittany to hear all this. And there's so many examples of Kevin being a scumbag throughout the whole career, like this incident where there was this rumor that Lynn was with her. Now, I'm not even trying to humor it, but what did he go and do? He made a song called Milf Does a Body Good. This guy has been a scumbag since day one. Uh, before I even play this clip, Brittany was the only celebrity parent to show for school events, according to the student. Uh, this was like a kid there sharing that story. There was Here's here's Kevin Federline asking for more child support uh, and then going to his fifth 40th birthday uh, celebrating with strippers uh, with money cakes. This is this is the man that we're talking about in Maxim spread with strippers while he's in court battling for the kids need more money. Oh, yeah, but I'm going to go spend it at strip clubs. And then this one took the cake. I do want to because since he's sharing video clips, Kim, mm -hmm. let's share one of Kevin, shall oh, please. we? Please, let's go. Uh, husband guy, Kevin Federline. Did you meet him? Through um, his best friend. Uh, we lived in the same building. I lived at the, um, the Plaza, you know, in uh, West Hollywood. But you know what's weird? He, You were watching Britney Spears' kids for him. Yeah. And then what? and Charlie wanted to hire you to watch his kids, right? Yeah. He he's like he Who wants you to watch you're you're an alcoholic. Like, I'm, like, I'm like I'm like I'm like I'm alcoholic. I'm like why are people like, why? Like, it's like that's so funny. Everybody I got the K the K fed story pops up. I'm like, "Oh my god, are you kidding me? Someone like just wanted to get their like 2 cents. Whether they get like 100 bucks to leak that?" You Isn't know? it weird people see you and think babysitter? Like the last thing I think is babysitter <laughs> with you. You know what I, I would mean? Either, I would either I cannot babysit. How did you do with Federline? This with Britney sick Spears kids. How did you do? Like, I, was, I didn't give a shit about Federline. I, right. All I cared about was when I went over there, I wanted to see Britney Spears' kids. I love right. Britney Spears. I was, right. I was more fascinated about the kids than Federline. Did you play with the kids? Yeah, no, they love they loved going to the pool. This is during, this is during the summertime. And we right. had like a barbecue and everything like that. So did you actually babysit Britney Spears' kids? Yeah, because the nanny was in uh, was inside cleaning, and he was on the phone the whole time. Can huh. you play? Are they fun kids? Can you play drinking games and stuff with them, or are they too young for that? <laughs> uh, uh, no. Uh. No, they're, they're kids. You were no, responsible. The kids, <laughs> the kids, so you were though, responsible with those kids. I was Yeah, I was responsible. There was someone else in the pool. Um, like one of his friends were in the pool playing right. with them. Um, but um, I was like kind of, you know, taking care of the younger one. I uh -huh. think Jaden, Jaden James or whatever. Um, but the, the, the kids, they had really bad bottle rot. What's what bottle that? Oh, yeah, right, from well, drinking a baby bottle for too long, right? Yeah, and then, you know, like, letting them sleep with, like, probably the, giving them apple juice or something right, like that. Right. And then just not, you know, brushing their teeth. I don't know. They so when did he fuck you? Like, Oh, it was Who? like. <laughs> well, like we, he, well was, he loves drinking Jack too. So right. yeah, big Jack. Well, you're Jack by the bottle. We're sitting there all the like all up to like four in the morning. We're just fucking getting hammered. Oh, love this. So anyway, Brittany can't see her kids. She's needs to monitor. But here is porn star Casey Jordan exposing how good of a father Kevin was around the kids. Again, mm -hmm. we don't have we wouldn't have a child monitor there, Kim, because Brittany was forced to have a child monitor anytime she even had a few days because, as you said, parental alienation. Look, this is sickening. We got to get the word on this. We got to help Brittany. The fact that she had nowhere safe, like that's what really gets me. And I want to leave this with you at this point. They were filming her everywhere. And now they're revealing to her as she's fighting this fight. Oh yeah, even the kids have tapes. We had the kids record. F you. We got you. We, we, we told you, we controlled you and we still do. This level of control and power, it has to be exposed at all costs. We cannot let them win. I'm looking at you, Lou Taylor. I'm looking at you, Robin. I'm looking at you, Jamie. I'm looking at you, K-Fed. Looking at all of them. Larry, 
Come on, there's a whole lot of them, Kim, and we know it. They all need to be exposed. What's going on here is criminal. It's not okay, and you have to get on this case. We got to show this attention. Johnny Depp got justice. We got to get Britney justice. I'm not letting this case go. Uh, I hope you guys get involved. Hashtag justice for Britney Spears. If you want more Britney coverage, make sure you also go over to YouTube and follow It's Kim, one word on YouTube, because she will keep you updated there as well. I will get my lights locked in. <laughs> they keep falling on me. My lights are even mad at you, Kevin. My God, you scumbag, you human garbage. Oh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for me. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash the like button and let's stay tuned. I'm going to try and get Christopher Melcher later on the live to tell us, is this legal? Can we show these videos? And can Kevin get in trouble for showing these videos? We're going to have that and so much more later in our live. So make sure you join us. Thanks again for watching here in the new studio. We'll be live later this afternoon, probably around 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on Popcorn Planet.